Good morning, I'm Dennis TJ. I want to talk to you a little bit this morning about fishing dark spots. Uh, you know, a lot of people, including myself coming up, you know, I spent a lot of time just fishing. I see a dark spot, it didn't really mean a whole lot to me. But dark spots can be very, very key on a lot of different situations, okay? Today, you know, we're on a river and, and it, to me, I grew up on a river and when you have a current situation, dark spots can be very effective because it can, it can mean two things. It can be structure in the water, okay, which is creating, which is a stump, which is creating a shadow or, you know, a, a, a slack area, an eddy out of the current. So, you know, what, what you want to do, you always want to throw past the dark spot, okay? And most of the time, the fish will be laying behind it. When I come by the dark spot, I'll stop it, okay? Now, a lot of times that will trigger a bite or trigger a feeding reaction from a fish that's hiding there, okay? But dark spots can be key in other situations also. If, say, you're in the, the north and you have a, a very clear water situation, especially on your smallmouth areas, and you have a lot of sand, these sand pockets move with the current, okay? And what they do, they roll. Well, when they create a deep hole, it creates a dark spot, okay? So sometimes we'll go fishing strictly dark spots. It's just a deeper hole, but not only is it deeper, when there's a real strong current, it makes a area where not only does the bait wash around behind, but the fish lay in ambush in those dark spots to feed. So never pass up a dark spot when you're fishing.